before I start tonight, I just wanted to read a brief statement that I prepared. <laughs> I denounce anti-Semitism in all its forms. <laughs> and I stand with my friends in the Jewish community. And that, Kanye, is how you buy yourself some time. Early in my career, I learned that there are two words in the English language that you should never say together in sequence. And those words are the and juice. <laughs> I've never heard someone do good after they said that. <laughs> okay, I don't think Kanye is crazy at all. I think he's possibly not well. And so it happened again. Dave has been grilled on social media after SNL monologue, and everyone is waiting patiently for his response to this bashing. But before that, let's see what the monologue is about and who was attacked this time. Saturday Night Live welcomed Dave Chappelle on their stage to entertain the audience, but some of the things the comedian said fell on the wrong side. Chappelle's first time hosting SNL came on the first episode after Trump's victory in the 2016 election. He hosted again in 2020 in the first episode after that year's election. Both times his monologues were observational musings on the state of the country after contentious elections. But this time, Chappelle basically tested out some jokes about recent and somewhat sensitive events. Specifically, he spent a whole lot of time talking about Kanye West's anti-Semitic comments and the trouble it's caused him. And for some reason, he talked a lot about Donald Trump, but mainly about Trump in 2016, and also kind of seemed to wink a lot at anti-Semitism in a very, very unnerving way. Amid discussing the results of the midterm elections last week, he also brought up the usual suspects, Kanye West and Donald Trump. Let's get right into it. Chappelle began in his monologue, Before I start tonight, I want to read a brief statement. I renounce anti-Semitism in all its forms and ended by saying that Kanye is how you buy yourself some time. Tonight, I just wanted to read a brief statement that I prepared. <laughs> I denounce anti-Semitism in all its forms. <laughs> And I stand with my friends in the Jewish community. And that, Kanye, is how you buy yourself some time. I'd probably been doing this for 35 years, and early in my career, I learned that there are two words in the English language you should never say together in sequence, and they are the Jews. Then he continued speaking about the Jewish community and the powers that be, saying that he's been doing comedy for about 35 years and there are two words in the English language that you should never say together in sequence, and those are the and Jews. He mentioned that he's never seen anyone do good after saying those two words. I've probably been doing this uh, 35 years now, and early in my career, I learned that there are two words in the English language that you should never say together in sequence. And those words are the and juice. <laughs> I've never heard someone do good after they said that. The celebrated stand-up comic revealed that he often swooped in to defend West in the past, but this time I wanted to see what happens first. He then pointed out the irony of Adidas terminating their collaboration with West where people were expecting to hear about his stance and the continuous debacle with the transgender community. He came out strong to speak about Kanye West. Chappelle then did a stand-up routine summarizing that whole drama, which we're sure you're familiar with by now. He also sort of joked about the possibility that Kanye's anti-Semitic statements might have some kernel of truth, joking at one point that Kanye's comments violated show business rules. It's a big deal, Wes had broken the show business rules, Chappelle continued, you know, the rules of perception. If they're black, then it's a gang. If they're Italian, it's a mob. If they're Jewish, it's a coincidence, and you should never speak about it. Beep. A brief statement that I prepared. Later on in his address, Chappelle said, I don't think Kanye is crazy, he's possibly not well. Chappelle also joked that Kanye got in so much trouble Kyrie Irving got in trouble, referencing the Brooklyn Nets player's own anti-Semitism controversy. But then he defended Irving, or appeared to, saying I know that Jewish people have been through terrible things around the world, but you can't blame them on black Americans. And this, this is where, you know, I draw the line. I know that Jewish people have been through terrible things all over the world, but 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 you can't blame them. Chappelle concluded his comments with a hint of reticence, suggesting that some of the rapper's criticisms were not without cause. I'd been to Hollywood, 
This is just what I saw. It's a lot of juice, like a lot. He said, there's a lot of black people in Ferguson. Missouri doesn't mean they run the place. You might go out in Hollywood and you might start connecting some kind of lines and you might adopt the delusion that Jews run show business. It's not a crazy thing to think, but it's a crazy thing to say out loud. As you may recall, Wes went on a radio show and stated that he could say anything he wanted and Adidas could not drop him, meaning that he was untouchable. Things and Adidas can't drop me. Chappelle commented, he said, I'm a billionaire. It was funny, but when he went on again, he was on something and he said, I can say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? And then Dave had the first jab by joking stating that Adidas dropped Kanai. And then he said, ironically, Adidas was founded by Nazis and they were offended. I guess the students surpassed the teacher. Um, he was on one, he was mad about something. He said, I can say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Adidas dropped that immediately. <laughs> Ironically, Adidas was founded by Nazis. <laughs> and they were offended. Additionally, the comedian talked about the situation in Ukraine, but concluded by returning to the Kanai stuff. Chappelle noted how Kanai's finances have been devastated by what he said, and then implied he says bad things too. I hope they don't take everything away from me, whoever they are. Whoever they are. <laughs> we got a great show tonight. Although Kanye is yet to respond to this awkward message, fans have resorted to social media to give their thoughts on what Dave said. Dozens of fans expressed disappointment at how insensitive Dave was and here's what they think. A fan wrote, I was very disappointed to hear Dave Chappelle's anti-Semitic monologue. It wasn't funny at all. All of you who post your support of his monologue are acknowledged anti-Semites. Another fan commented, I'm Jewish and found this highly offensive and anti-Semitic. He basically just minimized and agreed with recent high-profile anti-Semitic comments by other celebrities. This is unacceptable. Other fans believe Dave projected his intelligence by talking about those subject matters and that it could only take a genius like him to pull it off. A fan commented, Chappelle is an absolute genius at having difficult conversations. He says a lot of uncomfortable things but teaches us to listen to what we may not necessarily agree with but he gets you thinking. And if you can get past your own prejudice, you'll see a lot of truth. Another fan added, this is what comedy is, a way for someone who's funny to talk about all the uncomfortable or controversial conversations in a way that is okay to laugh at. I never would have made it through the last six years without comedians like Dave Chappelle. God bless him. While another fan concluded, he's a comedian, he makes us laugh, a great comedian also makes us think, a genius comedian makes us laugh, think and change our perceptions. Chappelle is a master genius. See you next time for more entertainment.